All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 27 for today, and the last episode we had an unnecessarily mean champ two. But hopefully we'll have nicer teammates and opponents today. We have champion two, division two, and 3v3, and in 2v2 we're at grand champion one, division two. Danny actually told me he's sitting around this rank in 2v2, so if you want to see me and him pair up for an episode, let me know in the comments. But before we get into the matches, we have to do the meme of the day, and today we have a Viner with Gubberry. This one's pretty funny. I like this one. All right, game number one, we got Rem <laughs> with Eli, Soccer, and Jazzy. Let's see how it goes. Go for a solid 50. My team is already ready for it on the right side. Now rotate all the way back right and then try to get back into the play. The decent uh, musty. It's good that he got that dunk, so it does stall them a little bit. Okay, they're off the ceiling. What he does here? He didn't get the flip reset. Let's go for the 50 50, and it's immediately a goal. It says nice one. I guess I'll say thanks. I'm not sure if he's like sarcastic. He definitely didn't get the flip reset, so I noticed that. The second I see that he doesn't have it, I just challenge. And the closer it is to the ground, the better. I don't want to go into the corner directly right now. I want to make sure I grab the ball first and stay with it. Jazzy's going to beat me here. So my teammate did get that boost, but he should have this clear. It's fine. It's off the wall. A little awkward. Definitely need my teammate to get that touch, but I should have also been ready a little bit earlier, and I could have maybe made the challenge myself. But I don't want to double commit at the same time, so it's a little scary. I'm going to go for a shot here. See what they do. Good save. Should be my teammate to go up for this. Great shot. Great save as well from Eli Soccer. I can go in on this. Just make my teammate is in the corner. I'm just gonna make sure I make sure it's safe. Let's stay close to this ball here. Go for a challenge. And now Ram's gonna be in a tough spot, so I gotta make sure I try to cover him. Looks like he might miss this. It's a great shot opportunity. Yeah, so I could have been a little bit faster than that. Even though my, my teammate made a mistake there, I could have probably played that ball knowing that he's probably going to miss so instead of me going wide there like that that position me going wide there could have been uh closer if i know that my teammate's going to miss the ball or at least anticipate a potential miss because that was a tough spot for him let's see what happens with this uh this follow-up here to me to pop this off the corner eli soccer gets a touch it's totally fine i'm just gonna wait, wait for him to keep try to chase the ball down there we go good 50 Teammate could have made uh, more of a control touch there because he'd had space. I want to avoid the bumps here. Just try to float with the ball. See, I'm like waiting in the air to like wait for them to make their final touch. It's a good touch to keep it controlled. There's so much time. Can just pull onto it. Oh my goodness. Okay, a little scary for me to go here because uh, my teammate's low boost. That should be a throwaway though. Eli Soccer's trying to make a touch. Does miss, though. Hit this towards the net. See if he can save it. Good save. I'm going to grab the corner, too, and my teammate should be up. Once again, so much space that he maybe could have waited. 50 should be safe. It should be okay in the corner. There's no pressure here. Yeah, there's so many times where my... Oh, my gosh. So many times where my teammate could be uh, playing a little more patiently with the space he has on the ball. Like, for example, how Jazzy's playing, where he's, he's taking control in the corner and holding onto the ball. Like, so far... Oh, that's a good bump. Should be a goal. That's a great play from them. Really good bump. Yeah, I think that out of the three players right now, I'm noticing that Jazzy takes the most control. It's good. Should be my teammate to follow this up, hopefully. I'm going to grab the back corner. Oh, I think he was bumped, maybe. Stay with this here. I'm going to do one pop over the one player here. And try to follow it. Not the best clear from them because my teammate should have this ball next. He does de like delay it in such a way that it actually ends up giving them a 50-50. Like he had so much time on that to, to beat them. But he waited until they were 50 50 him. But he could have just played that fast. We have to pick this up a little bit. It's a good 50. I'll grab this mid. It's totally fine. It's a good first touch. Maybe you can follow it. It's off the corner. Good 50. Bit of a rush, but should be able to get back to that. And once again, Eli Soccer is the one that's not really controlling as much on that team, so I know that they're, he's probably going to rush it. Oh, boy. I'm not going to lie. This is a little, a little confusing, but we're good. Good challenge. I don't want to get bumped here. Okay, we had time there. 
Nice. Maybe one more. Okay, does hit it to them, though. So you can see, like, there's so many touches where we're just giving the ball away uh, to the opponents. We have to make sure that the touches are going away from them. The goal is always to just uh, to play around the opponents. Maybe a bump here could be good. Okay, should be a free ball here. Okay, this is over my teammate. You can turn on this. Does boom it back to them. No control there could have been good. I know I'm repeating that a lot, but it's just so many times where we could be playing into the control here. Should be... Oh, boy. <laughs> it's over both their heads, and it's in. Yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of uh, miscontrol. Like, so many times where we could be making a better choice. It was a good choice from him to go for the bump. So we can go for the 50-50 here. That leads to a good spot for my teammate. Nice, nice challenge. Go for the shot down the field. Should be off. I can stay with this with a little boost. Good try. Pop this around him. Should be up over over Jazzy. Nice shot. Good positioning for my teammate. He was really ready for that that pop off the wall there. And it was good that because he was low boost too. And he still went for that. So I like that he didn't just back off for mid boost. We brought it back. It's a good challenge. He probably rushed to this corner or stay on this ball. Trying to avoid the bumps here. It's going to be awkward for uh, my teammate, but I should be able to get behind Rem here. I'm trying to stay stay close here. Good pop. Maybe a clear on the field. Maybe my teammate can follow this. Oh, he ended up going really wide. But, oh, it's still up. Okay, we're good. All right, so we got overtime. My teammate went back for corner boost. I'm just going to hit that right to him. A challenge, but it's a little scary because if he's not ready for it, go for a challenge again for him. Should be him now. Get hit down the field. Jazzy gets the clear, but oh, my teammate missed the boost. It's all good. Hit this to the right side. I'm just gonna keep it away from from them while my teammate recovers. Can he go for it? Good save. I'm just gonna scare him here so he doesn't go. Good follow up. I'll let him just do this. A great flip reset. Looks like he wants to stay with this. Maybe clear off the backboard. It's going to be over Eli Soccer. So if my teammate can push this and be a little aggressive, could be good for us. It's a clear. Might miss this touch. I'm going to just stay in front here. Could be dangerous though. My teammate should have this, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a little scary. We got the 50 here, get the demo, and then I could probably take the corner boost and then let my teammate go for this ball. Once again, time on that ball could have been good. He could have uh, he could have noticed that he has possession on this ball and does not need to rush it. Might be in our net. We get the save, though. It's a really good challenge for my teammate. I'm going to wait for this corner bounce here. It's a good demo, but it should be my teammate to challenge. Good job. Hit this off the backboard really hard. Should be difficult for him to read. Good try on the shot. Pop this over, Eli. And now I just gotta wait for him to go for this. My teammate's in a tough spot. He has to make sure he doesn't jump early. That should be okay. But once again, he should, should look uh, for the opponents. This, wow. That's quite a game. Um, I was going to say, he should be looking to see where the opponents are. Because I'm almost certain in that situation, he was looking up at the ceiling. Uh, and in that situation, like if you look behind and see where the clear came from, that player was the last to hit the ball, and he was so far away. They had a lot of saves, nine saves. We played pretty well as a team. I think there was a couple spots where I could have positioned a little little closer to my, my teammate when he was making an awkward touch. And also just a couple spots where I need to realize that he, if he's going to throw the ball away, I could just go get boost. All right, for game number two, we have a 3v3 game. We got the rum show with I'm bad, but I. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I. Anyway, we got Sapple here with uh, FRS MJM. 
It's a good pass off the corner. I'm just going to get a, uh, a bit of a challenge. It shouldn't be too bad because Sapo has full boost. I'm going to cut this for him. You see that I see the the, the read of the ball early. I try to go for that as soon as possible. Cover Sapple's position. Because he's awkward and not really turning on the ball. My teammate to go for this. Good. I'm just trying to wait on the side here. I can probably maybe go for that, but they're just going to throw the ball right back to me. So I'm just going to wait for it. See if Sapple wants to go. Did we get to turn on that ball too? Good try. I'm going to go immediately. Try to pop it up. Now I might be able to just shoot this. Yeah, because that, that was uh, really over aggressive by two of the players on blue team. They were in a spot where I guess they thought that one guy was going to make a challenge, but I just popped it over him. And then I just like raced to the ball because uh, Hash Noodle was not back yet. And those were the two people that were in like a party together. I'm gonna cheat up a little bit, see what happens here. So it's going to be I'm bad, but I uh, to get the clear here. Oh, that's tough. That's yeah, a bit of a misread from, uh, I'm going to call him Fresh. I don't know, Fre First? I don't know, First, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, just a misread. Just double jumped when he didn't need to. The ball was already leading right to him. There's no really, not really any reason to jump there because the ball's already going right to where he's sitting on the floor. That's a good challenge. My teammate to challenge this. Get it cleared on the field. See what I'm bad, but I does. Hits the ball once. Sapples up. Probably going to get beat, though. Does at least get the touch on the ball. I'm going to wait behind uh, somebody to challenge here. Wow. That worked out really well for them. Should be Sapple to get this touch, though. I'm going to watch watch out middle here. You can see that that's not the best touch for me, but it, it, as long as I'm covering that middle position. It's like really weird not to like air roll as much as I want to in those situations. Good try from the opponents there. Oh, my teammate cut there. I didn't expect that. It's, should be okay, though. So I used a lot of boost to go for that ball, but wasn't able to follow it up. See, does with this touch. I'm going to take this corner boost, actually. Just He's used a lot of boost to control that ball, and now he's going to be very low. Pop it up. Hash Noodle's last man here. Get off the corner. Waiting behind Fred first or Sapple to go for this ball. I'm waiting on the left side. You can see I'm just waiting for any potential clears. Pop it up. There's nobody on the left side for my team. So I, I know that when I'm making that touch that it's just going to go to a dead spot. Waiting behind him. That's a good demo. This could be a good chance for them. I might spawn close enough though. Over everyone's head. That ball does go back, though, so Sapple has it. Oh, that's going to go back to Hash Noodle. You can see that that touch right there is, is too close of a pass. There's no way that we can really reliably go. I'm going to sit in the backboard here just in case. Okay, Rum doesn't want to go, so he's last man. That's a good play. Didn't, didn't know if he was going to be on that yet. I don't think my teammate wants to go yet, which is fine. It's a really good chip. Teammate should have it, though. Maybe a follow-up. Looks like he's missing, so I'm just going to follow it up for myself. And now we try to go on this ball here. Try to fake him, see if he would bite a little bit early. A little bit of panic. Okay, teammates full boost should go for this. And try and go for the clear here. Not the best touch from the opponent, so it should be a chance off the backboard. Is that on target? Nice shot. Beautifully done. So not the greatest clear from Hash Noodle, and first is re ready for it. He's very confident in offense. You can know, tell on, on defense he was a little bit hesitant to go for certain things. And I know that like defense is definitely a harder skill to learn in Rocket League than at least good defense is harder skill to learn than uh, good offense because everyone practices uh, good offense. It might just be in, though. Yeah, they pushed up a little too hard on the, uh, the big clear there. I had space to turn on this ball. And a lot of people don't expect the early shot before the half volley. And that's why I was talking about like good defense. Like there's so many times where that shot could be easily saved if you just realize that there's a shot that could come in early. And the higher level you get, the more often you're gonna see things like that where people try to cut you off, like, catch you off guard with those touches. I'm gonna try and force him here. I don't need to fully commit because they're definitely gonna beat me. 
um, on that play. So for me to just go in and barrel into that, that ball is not going to be necessary because I'm already being beat. I'm just forcing the ball over so he can't just roll it forward. I'm on the wall here. Get off the corner. Going to be saved. And Sapple's last now. Got to be a little careful. Hit the corner. I'm just trying to uh, keep it close. It's a good try. It's going to be a, a, a shot forward. It's going to bounce up. Rumshow tried to read it, but he missed, and it might just be open. Yeah, so uh, that's the kind of thing where if you're if you're third man, you got to make sure you really make sure you got that read on lock. If not, then if it's un if it's even like I would say 10% uncomfortable, uh, I would not risk it. Because if I did that clear down the field like that and you were just back, it wouldn't be a problem. Obviously, in my position, if I saw that there was a third man and it was a one v one opportunity, I would dribble it down the field. But some people panic. Actually, a lot of people panic. I'm just going to grab a couple pads here. Try and challenge early. No way. Okay. <laughs> just, just going for a challenge, man. I don't know. I, 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 that's not even intentional. It just like kind of flew towards the net. Couple couple weird dunks. Couple, couple open nets. Um, got four goals there. But my teammate also played really well with that double touch. And they rotated really well together. Um, probably did a little too much there with eight shots. I think I was just making shots towards target a lot of the time where I could maybe try to make passes to the opponent, uh, my teammates and see if they can make the finished goal. But honestly, a lot of the times where I was going for shots, it was just the better opportunity because both my teammates were rotating back and weren't really available. Now saying the word available at the end of the last game actually brings up a good point. Um, making sure that you look available to your teammate, but also try to position in a spot where I could definitely go for this. Go for a shot. Yeah. That's an open open position there off the off the kickoff. But what I was trying to say about availability is, um, it's good to like make it very known from your teammate that you are available for a a play or a pass or position just position for them to be able to go. Like right here, I'm trying to be behind him. It's a great shot from them though. Probably a little bit early of a challenge off the backboard, but I also could have probably maybe pushed out. Yeah, because there's nothing he can really do other than like let that ball fall towards the net. So in that position, you could definitely wait. I could have probably went to the ground instead. We have a position off the on the floor here again. Go for a shot, and it's open again. These these 50-50s that are going into the ceiling, you need to be, make sure you're ready for it. Like right here, Flixie can't really back off because he needs to be ready for that. Unless he's definitely in a bad position, but he has to be positioned a little better. Off the side of the net there is not going to give enough coverage. Probably could be a little more centered. That's a good first touch. That's a good shot. I'm just going to clear it. A little pop off the side. I like this control. I like the space. Looks like going to have a clear here. Just go for a bump. Though we have space. Good. I'm going to bump Flixie here. I didn't break the rule one. My flip just like ended up popping out. And he actually makes a shot anyway. Oh, no, it's off. So I am last man here. I'm just going to make wait for him to get closer to the ball. He looks at the... Even though he gets a demo there, I know that I'm in a good spot to cover that. Another demo. I definitely could have read that he was coming behind me there. I'll play each other. I hit this towards the, the mid boost and then stay controlled. Chip it middle, but you can see that, that chip middle actually just gives him a free clear. So it's not the best option for me. Hit 50. Looks like he might still want it, so I'm just going to wait for him in mid. Go for a shot. See if they save it. Just pop it up. Nice finish. So the option there was to shoot or to pop it. And you can see that the way that Flixie recovered in net here. If I try to shoot that, he's going to save it. So just pop it over him instead. And they get a finish. I knew my teammate was looming around. So I knew that I could do that and hit him be reliably available for that. A good save. This is the thing. I feel like I like last episode I was playing too slow, but I feel like what's, what what the problem is right now for me is like I don't want to play faster, but then also it's hard for me to like not just like reliably make good touches. If that makes sense. So I feel like me playing faster also makes me just make more reliable touches that 
are overwhelming the opponents. But this is a great shot for my teammate. And we're getting a forfeit. So I feel like I am playing a little too fast. I don't feel like I'm doing that much, but I just feel like I'm maybe making too many consistent touches. Because a lot of players I can see in this rank aren't really controlling the ball in, in certain situations. And right here, like these shots are, aren't even the strongest like top corner. Like in SSL, I need to make sure those are top bar. Um, I'm just shooting them towards target. This is not the best 50-50s from the opponents as well, I guess, off the kickoff. But I'll have to try and make a better read on what I should be doing in these games, and especially in 2v2, because it's getting closer and closer to uh, SSL here. All right, for the final game, we got uh, Monkey Haircut and p Fane and Kirkmark, and they are together. So this should be a little more organized of a 2v2 from the opponents. Let's see what happens here. Uh, p Fane's going to take this back. I'm going to grab the, uh, the mid. Looks like he's controlling off the wall, so I'm not going to go across and let them make a play what a pinch play i'll go past my teammate but there's nobody ready ready for this so he's ready for it like we know after they make that pinch play that there's not really gonna be any recovery where they can play the ball what is happening <laughs> great play for my teammate that was a great like uh demo play he didn't get the flip reset he just kind of went for the uh the other player here and went for the bump as well Go for the normal kickoff here. Teammates ready for it. Good dribble. Great flick. It's not on target yet. I probably shouldn't should have grabbed that mid because now my uh, now Kirk has full boost. Go for a challenge. Pop this up. See what they do. Oh, big fakes. It's a big clear. So Payne's probably gonna make this towards. The top. I'm just gonna call him Payne, by the way. He's going to make a touch towards the net, but it's not like, really that dangerous. Let's see if Kirk cuts this off. He tries to. I back off for his touch instead. Now, I could rush this and just pop this off the backboard. But I want to make sure that the touch is clean. If I see any potential 50-50 there, I'm probably not going to go. Good try on the, the doink. Oh. Oh, that was a good setup and unfortunate at the end there. A good try. I've got space here. Pinch it across. Good save from Payne. I was kind of just watching what was happening there. I didn't want to like actually do anything with the ball. It's a great chance from them. It's a bad 50 from me, and it could be a shot, and that's going to be a, uh, a not be able to save. I, I probably could have recovered that fast enough and saved that, but that was a great play from them to get a good dunk there. What I want to do there is challenge the ball a little bit sooner because I saw that he had like loss of control off of the uh, the air dribble. I'm waiting for Payne to push up on this and then I can go for the touch. If I can go for a bump here. That's tough because there's not really any good good way that um, he can know that he can get to that ball because he's trying to play for the potential clear. This could be a good save, a good shot from them. They do rush it though. That was an overcommit for me and they end up not capitalizing. Good try on the 50. It's back to me. Good good follow-up. Just keep it close here. Also, my team is going to try and challenge. It's a good try. He puts it off target. There's nobody really ready for a shot. Now it might be open. Yeah. So that's why you don't really want to go for those. Like, uh, pain going for those when his teammate's in the corner. It, the, the best case scenario is it pops up over the backboard, but there's like a full setup defense that can get ready for a clear. Um, meanwhile, both players in the corner, and it's probably going to go off the backboard really quickly. This could be a, just down in front of the net. What a save. It's a good clear. Wait for his touch. Now I can clear this. He does pop into the corner, which I do like the control. So it should be Kirk to stay with his ball. Go to stay with this. But do a little bit of a wave dash just to get closer to the ball. I don't. It wasn't required, but it does make it a little bit easier to control. The touch. So I am low. Could be a good chance for them. It does miss though. It was a great 50 from them to bring it into mid. Decent flick as well. I'm going to be uh, last man for a second, but I just got to stall. But now that he has to shoot that that at some point, so I'm just trying to watch where he's going to chip it. It's a good challenge. Could play that a little bit faster. My teammate's low, so I'm just going to get a demo here. 
He does he does challenge it anyway, which I do like because he would have been like a sitting duck in 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 net there. Go for a shots over the bar. CMT wants to challenge. He's kind of waiting patiently. Yeah, this guy doesn't like to overcommit. I like this. He's very much like controlled with his touches. He's low boost, but he's trying to go for a flick. Might grab that corner boost and then try to loop back on the touch. I'm still just playing second man for him this whole time. There's no need for me to like really play uh, anything too dangerously. That's a great shot from them. Really good cut. He he played that really well off the corner. It just led to a spot off the off the floor there. Obviously, if I was like a higher level, I would uh, control that ball into the corner. But I just went and made a touch over to the side. They cut it off, and they made a shot when my teammate couldn't expect it. The thing I could have done better there is to control that ball. I chip that around him here. Go for a shot. What a save. Now they're stuck in the net here, so I'm just going to pop this up over the one defender and then try to go for a bump. Good try. He's not going to beat me here, so I'm just going to be a little careful. What a bump. Good save. He gets a clear, but we know that that ball is going to be free, so hopefully my teammate can turn on this. Now he did see me low, so I'm surprised he didn't leave that for me, but it's all good. See if he makes a play. Take a touch off the corner. Both players go. This boost is going to be there for another like second. There it is. Oh, that's an awkward ball here, actually. But I just jump in the corner to keep it safe. Any touch to softly like, uh, like cushion the ball is going to be a good opportunity. I'm trying to bump this guy. He does get a clear. Maybe teammate can keep it up. Zero seconds. Good save. That was a good chance for us. We have 13 shots. They do have seven. We're definitely keeping more pressure. Could be a shot on the field. He gets a touch off the backboard. Let's touch this on my teammate. Should be able to keep it. Good try on the 50. I know I have space here, but I'm just going to pop off the side wall, see what they do with this. Oops. Waiting for Payne to pass this across or something. I'm going to try and cut this off and see if my teammate can get there. We're going to rule one, so let's see if my teammate can finish the game off. It's a good shot. Oh! What a finish. Wow. That was a great uh, control here. Really good try, try on the shot. And he got the dunk as well. Kirk was stuck, stuck on the side of the uh, the post. And Monkey was able to turn it around. But that was a great series of, of, of games. I really did, did enjoy that. There was a lot of uh, good rotations for my teammates. The opponents played pretty well too. I somehow bumped 44 cars in that game. I have no idea how. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I don't know what just said. I don't know what just happened. Oh, man. What a, what a series of games, like I said. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, today we have Gubberry as a berry. So we've got Gubberry. We've got a berry blend in the background. Trust me, I know where this is going. And I've got this man <laughs> with a, uh, I guess, like a grape or berry vine. I don't know if he's supposed to be like a blackberry or something. Either way, I think it works. Uh, let's grab him real quick. Okay, not bad. Let's get the berry blend back in here. Let's bring him above. I think we want to go like this, maybe? Bring it up like airy blend. <laughs> and then what I want to do is I want to like probably just band-aid the four. And I want to add some text. Let's do gubberry blend. And we just grab this color real quick. I think it needs to be a little thicker. I'm going to try and go for... That's pretty good. Now we got to get gu in here. The most important part. Okay. Let's try to erase like what we don't need. I think I want to grab the hat. I do want to grab this hat real quick. Okay. Okay. Now I want to distort this. Perfect. We get this guy, the hat and everything. Bring this up. Pretty happy with that. Let's just change the lighting on Ga a little bit. <laughs> what, is this? what is this? Okay. Let's bring this up a little bit. I think what I want to do is try to match the color of the blackberries a little bit. I'd say that's pretty good, and then I just want to erase on top of the image so God doesn't look so... There we go. I'd say I'm pretty happy with that one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Gah.